well, I saw Alex Higgins playing on Pop Black and uh, back when I was only about eight years of age and uh, I saw him whizzing around the table, potting these amazing shots and uh, he was so charismatic. I thought, wow, I'd love to do that. I think the best snooker player of all time has to be Ronnie O'Sullivan, the most talented. He can play right-handed, he can play left-handed, and of course, he hasn't won seven World Championships like Stephen Hendry, but without doubt, he's the most talented player that's ever played the game. Well, listen, I dreamed about winning the World Championship as a baby, uh, and when I saw Alex Higgins play winning in 82, I saw Dennis Taylor win it in 85, and I thought, I'd love to do something like that. And to win it in 1997, it was like all your birthdays, all your dreams coming true at that particular moment. It was fantastic. Nothing can beat that. What does it take to be a world champion? Uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of discipline, uh, a little bit of luck without doubt, no doubt. You know, you have to love the game, you know, you have to really love it and love what you're doing. Uh, and I think that's the most important of all. You know, the atmosphere at the Crucible is just like, like no other tournament. You walk out through those curtains, out through the tunnel, onto the floor. Uh, the last time I did that, I kissed the floor because uh, that's what it meant so much to me. And it's very, very small, you know. There's only like 900 people. It looks a lot bigger on TV, but the atmosphere is just electric. Well, I'd have to go with uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Uh, he's won already five tournaments this year. He's had a fantastic season. He's in great form, uh, and if he holds his concentration, I think his biggest opponent and toughest opponent would be Mark Selby. My forecast, uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Selby in the final. Oh, well, that's easy. I think my toughest opponent is always myself, <laughs> the man in the mirror. I think if you can you know, overcome your emotions, overcome your confidence and, and, and uh, try and get yourself and, and yourself in tune. I think that's, that, that's the biggest problem for any snooker player. For any first time champion at the Crucible uh, in the 41 year history of the World Championship, nobody has defended their trophy for the, after winning it for the very first time. Uh, I got to the final, uh, Joe Johnson got to the final, that was the best the first time champion has ever done, uh, but nobody has actually defended the trophy. So that's the Crucible course. No, I, I, it wasn't like a case of winning or, or wearing the same underwear, wearing the same socks or the same shirt and stuff like that. No, I used to have the same routine, I'd go in the same car, uh, same dressing room, stuff like that, but never really any superstitions. So it would have been Kendo or the Darling of Dublin or Crafty Ken. Hazel gave me that one, the Crafty Ken. But lately, I've been called Clueless Ken. <laughs> Well, I really don't know. I, I've been playing snooker since I left school. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, but I love football. My dream would have been to play for Manchester United and play football. A few friends uh, watching a game of football, having a game of snooker, down at the Radisson, down having something to eat, and uh, just having a bit of fun as well, a bit of crack. Ooh, safety. Worlds. Love winning. Uh, Jimmy White. Ooh, pff, Mark Williams. Funniest, uh, Dennis Taylor. Al Sullivan. Uh, Taylor. <laughs> oh, Higgins. Oh, without doubt, the Crucible. Oh, that's easy. World top 10. OK, thanks to Betbride uh, to win a snooker masterclass with me, which will include dinner, travel, accommodation, and £500 spend the money. All you have to do is have 10 snooker bets during the World Championship at betbride.com um, for your name to be entered into the draw. Best of luck and get practising. <laughs>